Hey y'all. Good morning. I'm that's, sorry. That's How rude it? Of me. Good morning. Hopefully for some of y'all it's actually a good morning. For us, still pretty neutral. Because <laughs> you can see we're hooked up to the truck. It's 11 o'clock in the morning and we have a seven hour drive today to get where we're going. <laughs> so you know what that means? That means we're parking in the dark tonight. What time were we supposed to leave? We had alarm set for 625. <laughs> But as you can see, that didn't work out for us. <laughs> so that brings us to today's video. Today, we're on our last travel day home for the year. We're going back home to spend time with friends and family. We have some adulting to do. Alicia has to get her final approval from her doctor and the babies have doctor appointments. But today's video, we're gonna talk about all the things that we learned that we need to improve upon or get better at in RVing because these last three weeks, as a family of five, we're not very good at it. We've been a little rusty. <laughs> so we're gonna attempt to get out of this spot and get on the road and we'll come and talk to you guys about all the things we learned and the things that we can do better moving forward. Kayla, Ashlyn, you ready for a train horn? Yeah. Where are we headed? To Texas again. To Texas again. Here we go. Don't forget Caden. Hi Texas. <laughs> Say hi Texas. Bye, Oklahoma. Wish we could have done more. So we're on the road, and we figured today we should talk to you about all the things that we learned that we're not very good at anymore. The <laughs> things that need to change. And it's not just because we've been doing this for very long. No, we actually have been taking a break, so it's like where it's our first time out again. <laughs> so if this is your first time RVing, or maybe you had a life-changing moment, so we had two. We have a new baby, and Alicia got hurt. Yes. So if a life-changing moment happens, you may need to readjust some things in your life to make this work out for you. So we figured we'd talk to you about all the things that we found out in our first three weeks of being full-time again. And now these plans, these weren't made recently. These were the plans that we made before Alicia got hurt. So yes. when we made these plans, those plans were based around our old way of doing things. Things that may have not been so fun had we made our entire trip to the Midwest. Oh yeah, I'm so glad that we kind of had this little yeah. short trip yeah. so that we could learn what's I, gonna work and what's not working. I'm not sure that we would have enjoyed the Midwest with our plans because when we made the plans, we, we made them based on the way we used to do things. Yes. Before Caden and before you got hurt. Yes. So let's start with the first thing that we learned we're no longer good at. <laughs> and good example is today. It's 12 o'clock and we still have 300 miles to go. We've been on the road one whole hour. Exactly. <laughs> we are not very good anymore at getting the RV ready to go and getting on the road. Everything is just a very slow process lately. Yes. Uh, everything takes like two, three times as long as it used to take. And it's no one's fault. It's just our reality right now. Well, it's because we got we got very good at it before. Yeah, we are very We've efficient. technically only done it three times right now. Yeah. But I'm telling you right now, it's not very fast. It's not very efficient. It's not very good. No. I, I, I find myself <laughs> opening doors and closing doors and redoing things. It's just the overall, we haven't done it enough to get it back in our routine. But our routine has also changed because now we have an extra kid. Right, right. You're also not 100% I'm also, yet. yeah, I'm kind of slow in getting up and down our stairs in the RV and just even stepping onto a step stool to put things up in a cabinet is kind of a little sketchy for me lately. So I take my time and that definitely shows. Our old way of doing things, we were probably an hour and a half to two hours hooked up and ready to go. Yeah. Right now, that's moved more to about three and a half hours to get ready to go. <laughs> if we're lucky. Yes. So the thing is, is because we haven't been doing it, it's like we're relearning all of our processes, all of our stuff. Yeah. Also, it doesn't help that we don't know where anything is anymore. Right. Well, we have all this extra stuff from Caden. Yeah. So we've got all these extra things that we have to put places that have to find a home. So it's just we've been disrupted. If you're just starting out with this, just know it'll get better because we know it'll get better. Yes. And whatever you're doing, if it's not working, like we right now, what we're doing is not working for us. So no. we're going to figure out what we need to do in a different order or what things we can do differently to make it to where we can get back into the traveling quickly mode. Yes. Because honestly, no one likes to pack a camper up. No one likes to unpack a camper. No. So if we can do some things to make it easier, faster, more efficient, right? it's going to make the whole experience it'll better. It'll make us happier. It'll make our children happier because they won't be in limbo so long. Like, what do you mean we can't play with our toys? What do you mean we have to sit on this couch? You know, they just don't understand. So we've definitely got to get faster again. I don't know 
know if it's faster, just more efficient. More efficient, yeah. Because I feel like we're doing the right things. We're just doing, doing them we're just doing efficiently them enough because yeah. we're double doing things. We're yeah. moving things to move things again. We just haven't got back in our routine. Right. Now, that's the first thing is getting ready to go down the road. The next thing is the going down the road part. So, this one was one of those things that when we first started full-timing, we stayed everywhere a month. Yeah. And we gradually learned that traveling was something we actually really enjoyed. Yeah. Right? So, we actually made some long distance drives at first. And we learned real quickly that 300 miles is about it for us. We don't want to drive more than about 300 miles. Right. Well, today we're driving 400, and that's because <laughs> our old life said, you can do it. You're going back home. It'll be all right. It'll be fine. Which the reality is, is 300 miles is now too much because we stop more because of Caden than we yes. used to. Also, I think it's because it gets dark so early. Yeah. If you don't leave by like 8, 30, 9 o'clock in the morning, you may not get to the next place before dark. Right. And it feels like and the no day one, is just gone. No one likes to park in the dark. No. We're not parking safe. in the dark tonight. It's, it's okay because we've been there many times. We know what to expect when we get there because it's going back to our home base. But normally, we would try to avoid ever parking in the dark. So before, 300 miles was easy. We would do a six hour, 300 mile drive, no problem. We've done learn that with baby Caden and our new way of moving things, maybe we want to stop it around 200 miles. 200, 250, I think. Something about yeah. four and a half hours in the truck is probably too, enough for us right now. Yeah, just so where we only have to stop about two times. Yeah. Um, that, that's usually about when he's done. If he has to get back in the car seat a third time, it's not fun for anyone. And that, that brings up the next thing, our stops. We also are not very good at stopping anymore. <laughs> it used to be, I could stop, like if I wanted to, if we were in a hurry, I would never stop at a truck stop. I would always stop at rest areas, or side of the road parking spots, places that were in and out. We yeah. could have some food made, we'd eat real quick, be back on the road, 10, 15 minutes max. Now, because of Buddy and Baby Kate well, and Alicia okay. and everybody wants to get out of well, the car and more often. Kayla's potty training. Yeah. So we have all these new things. So now we stop at truck stops. And it's we a process. We eat lunch and it's like an hour minimum every time we stop <laughs> before we're back on the road. It's an efficiency killer. And, and that's why I think it also is hurting us that we can't go more than 300 miles a day. Yeah. We can't even go more than 200 because our stops by are the, really hurting us. Yeah, but they're the necessary stop. because the situation we're in right I think as Caden gets older and you get better yeah. with your leg and Kayla gets better at potty training <laughs> we might be able to get back to the way we were but right, right. now we, we're, we're having to bring it down yeah we, we need to reel it back in maybe don't travel and as here's much. the thing if we had already had all these plans and we say we scheduled a bunch of moves 300 oh, yeah. 400 miles each just understand what you're working with because no one wants to have a miserable trip no no one wants to have crying kids in the back no one wants to you know not feel like they have time to get out and stretch their legs when they need to get up and stretch their legs so just account for those things because and, and, they make a difference and the thing is is we, we, we made all these plans based on the way things Used were to be. Mm -hmm. whenever we didn't have Caden and, and you weren't injured. Right. This is the way things worked for us. Cause like we dialed it into the way things that we liked before. Right. Where our situation has changed and we realized we need to make some adjustments and bring it back some. Like maybe not try to travel as much. Right. Maybe not try to cover as much ground. Right. We already know we can't get going early. So that right there is reducing <laughs> the amount of time we have we during have the travel to day travel. to get somewhere. Right. So, basically the, the gist of this is anything involving the RV moving or getting it ready to move has all been, it, it's, it's definitely much slower than it used to be and we need to change our processes and, and the way we do it to account for those situations. And as we get better, we can start adding more things back in. Maybe right. once we learn how to get up and get on the road at a normal hour, right. we could actually <laughs> add more hours in the day of traveling. Maybe when the sun decides to stop going down at five, we can start driving more. <laughs> Who knows? So now that we've talked about the things that have changed involving this truck and this RV going down the highway, the next thing is our stays. Yes. So our stays, we worked up to this before too. So we started out full-timing two years ago and everywhere we went we stayed one month yep and we 
decide after a while one month felt like it was too long we were we were staying somewhere too much and we wanted to start moving more right because really we found out we like to move we like to travel like to see so we started going to 10 to 14 days and then for a while we went every seven to ten days which was fine because we were excited we were moving we were enjoying everything well now that things have changed we had these plans before at least we got hurt which was our old way of doing things and we just had three weeks where we stayed seven days each time and i'm gonna say right now <laughs> seven days is too fast yep seven days doesn't work anymore it feels like you get there and then you're leaving again yeah right? we our whole life has slowed down some but our seven day stays didn't so it felt like as soon as we got there we were running out of days to go see what was there what there was to do in that town or go adventuring right and then all of a sudden it's time to pack the camper back up and leave <clears throat> right. we already know that we're not very good at packing that up so we would spend part of our days that we were supposed to be enjoying getting ready to go yeah so by the time we got there it was usually the afternoon or the evening the day we arrived and that's so day one. that's day one day two we were usually tired from the drive and from all the travel and packing and all that so then that left like day three four and five to adventure whereas before we would have like five days to yep. adventure and to rest and to edit videos and all that good stuff so it's just not enough time anymore I don't think so I'm thinking moving forward because we realized that we need to slow down we need to slow things down a little bit yeah so we're gonna be moving back to the 10 a minimum of 10 days if yeah. not 14, 14 for every stay probably yeah and we're probably we might even do 14 for a while because we, we have plans coming up yeah but our plans can't start yet we want to ease back into it yeah so we're gonna be staying a little longer at places spending more time enjoying the places also we learned that our adventures also need more time we oh yes we went adventuring in branson and uh, <laughs> it liked to kill us because we went like we used to which was go 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 go, go. go. yeah because honestly y'all see a video and y'all think oh it's always fun we try to film everything in one day that way we have down days yeah so we're not always we're not going every day you may look like we're going every day we're not the thing is is we film it in a way to where we do as much as we can depending on the situation the weather what's going on for the day with our kids. Right. Some days we can tell they're not gonna be into it, so we might as well not even right. do anything. Right. If but we try, we try to it. film and have our adventure days, and we schedule down days. So we have days that we're not doing anything. We're not doing anything on camera. We still do things in the RV, but it's, it's us stuff. Right, and well, letting the kids rest. We're not very good at adventuring because <laughs> we have a small child, and Alicia's not 100%, so everything has been slowed down as well. Y'all seeing a theme here? Everything needs to slow down. Everything has got to slow down. And it's because we're, we're, we're essentially, we took a six month break. Right. Three months for Caden and then three months for you to heal up when you broke your leg. Right. We're essentially starting from scratch at full time, but we're using our mindset of when we were from doing our it old way. all the time. Right. And none of that stuff is working right now. Right. And, and the thing is, I'm going to tell you right now, I've found myself getting frustrated with things. And the only reason I'm frustrated is because I have these timelines or these goals or these these expectations based on the way things used to always work. Right. And I have to realize like, those aren't realistic things now. I just need to go with the flow. Yeah. We'll make adjustments to everything in our life to accommodate for the way we do work right now. Right. And then moving forward, we're gonna be taking more time at places, yeah. scheduling more down days. We're gonna be trying to adventure less in one day and possibly, you know, more Extend small adventures. Extend it out, yeah, to have more. Quick just, adventure. Just so that we can get yeah. back in the groove of things. Because right. I don't know, honestly, I was thinking the other day, when we did the St. Augustine, Florida, where we filmed a video every single day, that literally might kill me right now. <laughs> if I tried to go adventure seven days in a row, oh my gosh. I don't know how, how I'd do and it. And those weren't little adventures. No, those, those were, were all day. all day long adventures. And then to come and home. And you were pregnant then. Yeah, and put the videos together. Like, it was a lot. But, I mean, it was fun and it was doable at but the time. But we right now. Our, that was our peak. Right. We were at our peak performance and efficiency of RV. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I don't know. I was pregnant. But yeah, but you were still <laughs> I was still managing. managing. Yeah, so. And right uh, now. It's like we're it's like the first day of football practice all over again. We got muscles and things we don't know how to use, things we don't know how to do. We're we're, we're learning from scratch all over again. It's so true. So just just because things aren't going the way you think they should doesn't mean you should let it get to you. Because we yeah. realize we were setting up our expectations based on the old yes. way things used to work. You just have to adjust your expectations. And I, I, I literally 
literally looked at her one night and I was like, we're going to have to slow down. Like, I, I think we're trying to do too much. Yep. And we're really not trying to do a lot, but the days we do do stuff, we try to do too much. Yeah, we try to cram in every activity and it's just not feasible at this point. No, it's not. It's just not working right now. I mean, we're doing it, but if we're not doing it, we're not having, I mean, if we are doing it and we're not having a good time while doing it, then what is the point? So, I wouldn't say we're not having a good time. I'm well, saying sometimes the kids sometimes are cranky I have, or I have like like in Branson, I was like, we need to be over here by do four o'clock. This, 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 this. And we can, we can't. Every time I put a time on something, <laughs> we would never finish in time. So there's a lot of things in Branson that we were in Oklahoma City. We we're gonna try to do. We just ran out of time. Right. We 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 physically cannot move as quick as we used to. Right. Plus we need we need more time to do everything. We need more breaks. Yes. So. Moving forward, we're going to talk to you guys about this, our plans for next year, and next, the coming video. Yes. But moving forward, we plan on slowing things down, spending more time in places, really enjoying the place we're at, mm -hmm. getting back into RVing and adventuring shape because that's that's really what <laughs> needs to, we need to learn how to do again. Right. How to adventure so much, but we also want to slow it down. Yeah. We feel like we're rushing too much through, like Oklahoma City. I want to do so much more. But we just ran out of time. Plus, again, a side note, I'm asterisk on all this talk. <laughs> this could be because in those 21 days we've been gone. Oh my gosh. We've been sick, maybe 12 of them. Exactly. So I don't know if the sick part is the reason why everything is not so good right now. Right. When we're not 100% and then our kids aren't 100%, it kind of just brings everything down. So. Like the first week when we had the purge, Yeah. that's nothing you can do about that. You, right. you have to sit at home. But these last, I would say the last 10 days, we've all had some form of a cold, potentially the flu, we don't know. Yeah, we're not sure. Like today, I don't feel bad, I just don't feel great. Right. So it makes the moving process not so fun when you when also you, don't feel good yeah, as well. Yeah, when you get winded and you're coughing and your kids are coughing, no one's sleeping good. Or when it's it's 40 degrees out and I'm sweating. Right. Or, I, you know, just you just don't feel great. So that might have a lot to do with what what we're experiencing, but we also know we do have to slow down. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the moral of the theme, I think. And it's good to know that for our travels for next year, maybe we don't plan all the way out. Maybe we only plan the first few months, see how we feel, reassess, before we go plan everything else out well I want, i'm gonna have a whole video about how we plan our things yeah but just know the first part of the planning is going to be very short and sweet because we're going to spend some time in texas yeah we have big plans for next year it involves going all the way all the way all the a, way somewhere all the way some direction <laughs> Shh, don't tell them yet <laughs> but Stick we around. can't go that direction in january that should help <laughs> so just know our first month back in January, we're gonna hang out and explore Texas. Yes. But we're gonna take our time doing it. Yep. One, we have to we have to wait for winter to stop being here. Yes. And two, we want to get back into the groove of things without the pressure of having all these reservations and things we're trying to get done. Right. So hopefully, the first few months of our next big adventure, because like I said, we're only going home for two weeks right now to do adult things. Then we're hitting the road right away again. But we're gonna hit the road slower and hopefully we can learn how to do it again but we're going to take our time because it, we're going to places we've been before places that we never filmed places that we rushed through the first time because right we had just started and even then what we're going to do the first time around we only give ourselves a week to do it and we almost didn't we didn't do it yeah we didn't have enough time no. so we're gonna slow it down that's the thing slow it down slow it down so now that we've told you all the things that we've been struggling with and how we plan to fix them. You guys tell us all the things that you struggle with and how you fixed them. Maybe there's some things that we actually don't even know that we're not good at yet because we haven't experienced it, but they're coming up soon. You guys let us know. What is it that you struggle with by traveling and living full-time in the RV that you had to reassess or change the way you do it to make it better and how'd you change it? Yep, and I don't think this is a full-time versus part-time no, seasonal thing. This is a just how do you RV and how do you keep it efficient and how do you make the necessary changes? What did you have to and 
Yeah. Honestly, I think the guys at the Weekend Warriors are better at this oh, than we gosh, are. Oh gosh, yes. Because they have to completely pack and unpack all the time. Yes. Like, I don't... they might have all the tricks. Right. So, let us know. I just don't know if I can do it. I could not pack and unpack this thing every time I had to go somewhere. Well, I think you have less to pack and unpack, but still you have lots of you things. You have a whole RV worth of stuff you have to right, go Right. The things have to go through. I think I'd have to leave mine half packed and yeah. half unpacked and just bring in the clothes and the food. So, anyway, let us know what your tips and tricks are. Also, I want you guys to take guesses on where you think we're going when we leave here. In January. Let's well, just... we're going to. Well, right, I'm gonna give you a hint. We're going to Texas in January. When we finally get rid of the winter, where do y'all think we're going? That's the only hint you get. Winter. Can't I'll give be you there. one other hint. There's gonna be a theme for next year because uh -huh. I like a theme. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I'm not telling you what it is. So just keep our birthdays in think mind. <laughs> where do y'all think we're going? We're here at the TA. Or it's our third stop of the day. It's almost dark. We're for sure parking this in the dark tonight because we have another 150 miles to go. So these are one of the things that won't we have the rules we have. We don't like to park in the dark. We don't like to spend all day driving. What are some of the things that you guys do to make your travel easier and to prevent you from doing things you don't want to do? Anyway, guys, love you. See you in the next one.